something terrible happened and it's all Dan's fault. In the last video, uh, at the end, in the behind the scenes section, uh, there was, uh, he, he played where I was answering uh, a call from a, a pollster and because it was to Dan's phone, it was a pollster asking about uh, his picks for Illinois election and he let me answer. One of the questions that was asked uh, is uh, for Senate, who would I vote for uh, in that in the Senate election for Illinois, would I vote for uh, Dick Durbin or I think Mark Curran is his Republican challenger? And I said, write in a Libertarian. Well, thankfully, you don't have to write in a Libertarian if you're in Illinois and want to vote for the Senate. You can vote for Danny Maloof for Senate. Are we good here? Right now, I want you to know that all of you are the foundation upon which the movement for human liberty is built very engine that drives it. You are the power. That's right. If you love the idea of more government restrictions, let me hear you make some noise. Okay, a couple of you are in the wrong place. If you or I do the types of things to someone that, that judges and prosecutors and politicians do on a daily basis, we would be held accountable, and rightfully so. So you end immunity, period. When we're successful, when we're prosperous, when we're able to have health care, it's not because of government, it's in spite of the government. Here to bring the libertarian message of self-ownership, non-aggression, volunteer solutions, property rights, and more, please put those hands together and welcome the next Vice President of the United States, Jeremy Spike Cohen! Thank you, thank you so much. The only policies I like from the Republican and Democratic parties have been on the Libertarian platform for 49 years. Why I'm voting for Joe and Spike is because they're the only ones that truly stand for liberty. To bring troops home, uh, because as a military spouse, that is very important to me. And I'm voting for Joe Jorgensen and Spike Cohen because I'm tired of people telling me how I have to live my life. And how fitting that the architect of the militarized police state would choose as his running mate one of its most brutal enforcers. Let's talk for a moment about Kamala Harris. Let's talk about someone who has, oh, you've heard of her too. Let's talk about someone who has the distinction of putting away more people in prison for victimless crimes than any other person alive. Let's talk about someone who at least twice that we know of intentionally withheld exonerating evidence in a capital murder case. Let me say that again. Let's talk about someone that at least twice we, that we know of tried to have someone executed when she had evidence that they didn't do it. And not only did she continue to try to have them executed, she tried to withhold the evidence that would set them free even after being ordered by a judge not to do so. Why? Because she didn't want her conviction rate to go down. This is who the Democratic Party has asked you to throw your vote away for. I will federally decriminalize all drugs. <laughs> Letting consensual adult activities become safer and destigmatized, allowing the true victims to be given the help they need. We would not see all of the people who are locked up for simple possession. If there is no victim, there is no crime. I'm Joe Jorgensen, and I approve this message. I say very often that you are the power. I say, I'm Spike Cohen, and you are the power. When I say that, I'm not pandering. I would never pander to such a brilliant, well-educated, smart, sophisticated, attractive. You look fantastic. Have you been working out? You look great. I totally see. I see your gains. I see them. I see your gains. I would never pander to you. What I am saying when I say that you are the power is that you have the power to fix this. You have the power, us working together, have the power to solve these problems that we're facing and take the power back. And you don't have to take my word for it. Listen to Trump and Biden. Listen to the Republicans when they try to shame you into voting for their candidates. What do they tell you? You have to vote for us. If you vote for, if you don't vote for us, you could get someone else elected. Yeah. By the way, you'll notice that they never tell Republicans never tell Democrats that they're throwing their votes away. 
Democrats never tell Republicans that a vote for Donald Trump is a vote for Donald Trump. Isn't that interesting? They just tell you that. They tell, they shame you into voting differently. That's an interesting thing to remember. But when they tell you that, when they tell you that you can't vote third party, if you do that, you could ruin everything. Yeah, that's the point. That is the point of the whole thing. And here's what they're telling you. You have the power to destroy what we built. You have the power to end this crony system. You have the power to free people from cages. You have the power to end wars. You have the power to end theft and extortion and murder. And that's exactly what we intend to do. That is what Joe Jorgensen is doing. That is what the Libertarian Party is doing. And that is what you are doing working with us. Now let's go win this thing. I'm Spike Cohen, and you are the power. You own yourself. You own your life and your body. You own your labor and the product of your labor, which is your property. You are the power. Why don't you condemn rioting and looting? Why don't I? Yes. I do at, at every single stop when I'm asked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. <laughs> I know it's a very tough and brave stance to take in these trying times, but I would just like to say that I do, in fact, condemn white supremacy. Ask, ask, ask a question. Ask a question. <laughs> I don't, I don't actually have a question, but I just wanted to say hi to everyone and thank you for all your hard work. We're here having a rave, apparently, um, so I just wanted to uh, thank everyone for everything you're doing. And uh, I look, wow, I look forward to, uh, that light's very distracting. I look forward to, uh, to, uh, to hopefully getting, uh, getting us in a debate, hoping getting Joe in a debate, pressuring them into it. So thank you guys for all your hard work. I appreciate it. said who it was, so can you say the name of the place again that hey, you're gang. making this sweet video for? Hey gang, people of me, I'm Spike Cohen. Hey man, Spike Cohen here. Uh, great choice voting, huh? Let's do it. Vote for us. And if you feel like then you gotta vote for someone else too, great news. You can do that as well. And even if you could just vote for us maybe a uh, second time, first, put the first vote to the, the one that you, you thought you don't want to lose to the other one, and then you can vote for us too. <laughs> it's a win-win. It's a win-win. <laughs> Y'all are a great team. The dynamic duo. Thank you, man. Dynamic duo. It's I appreciate it. It's an honor you. to meet you, man. It's an honor to meet you too, man. These uh, shoes, can we just get a photo of just the, yeah, our shoes just together? Shoes. Just our shoes just together? Just our shoes shoes. together. Just our shoes together? Just those. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Shiny just what, and up. beautiful. Drip. That's yeah. what drip looks like. <laughs> Libertarian drip. <laughs>